All right, guys, welcome to episode 77 of In The Shop with Custom Lows. We've got the latest enclosure I just finished up right here. It's for a Sundown Audio U Series 10. As you can see, we got some plexiglass, LEDs, curve ports, bed liner. Definitely turned out awesome. We're gonna show you more in depth on this enclosure now. All right, so like I said, this is for a Sundown Audio U-Series 10. This enclosure turned out really awesome. Got the Plexi top with the RGB LEDs. We got the 44 key remote that goes with it. Black bed liner finish on the outside with a bare wood finish on the inside, which I just think looks really cool because it shows off the woodworking in this thing. Shows off the actual um, kind of more, you really see how it's built uh, with it being a bare wood finish. But we got a curve port. On this outside corner right here, obviously we got a curve in the front there, a curve there, and a curve in the back, making this port curved all the way through. This thing is 14 high, 14 deep, and 20 wide, tuned to 33 hertz. It's uh, 1.04 cubic feet after all displacement. That includes the woofer and the port displacement in this thing. Got a three quarter inch plexi top. This thing is secured. I've had a couple questions, so I might as well go ahead and answer them. This thing is secured with two inch screws and silicone. The silicone is just for a sealant. It does have some adhesion properties, so it will help stick it. But really the two inch screws are gonna be really what's gonna hold this thing on. We got the perimeter painted black, so you're not gonna see that bare wood on the top. I think a lot of times I see some plexiglass top enclosures and they miss that little detail of painting this outside ring here. Um, I think that gives it a really nice finished look in the end. Got the curved port there with the bare wood finish coming out the outside. Definitely ties everything in really nice. I, I really like the way the curves look in a bare wood finish. The bed liner is definitely a nice finish, but that curve in the front really looks good in the, uh, in the bare wood. We got the LED wires coming out the back. So, um, we got them sealed, secured. We've got a ton of extra length. Oh, just unplugged them now. A ton of extra length for the customer to be able to plug this controller in wherever he needs it. Got the SMD terminals on the side right here, which again comes standard on all of our enclosures. If I didn't mention already, and I probably did. We got the Custom Lowe's logo on the front. If you guys want to order one of these enclosures, you can go check out my website. Um, this is going to be definitely a custom enclosure. This is going to be one of the longer wait time enclosures. But as you see, this thing looks awesome. And uh, you can get a little art piece in your trunk that is functional, that'll make music. It is art, it is an instrument. It is just great. We've got the flush mount on the front. Make sure that sub sits in there nice and flat. This is not a full three quarter flush mount. It's only about a, uh, I'd say a half inch flush mount. 
didn't want to go through the both layers. Now this enclosure I had to stay within a certain limitations for sizes as with all the other custom enclosures. I built to your guys' size specifications. So this one had some tight measurements so I had to make sure I got every inch out of that enclosure I possibly could. Um, but we made this thing work. This thing's gonna fit like a, fit like a charm. Look really good. I'm excited to see this thing in the car. Um, the RGBs, RGB LEDs definitely really make this thing pop in the end, but I really love that plexiglass with the uh, polished edge on the side there. This thing turned out really awesome. I'm super happy with it for just being a single tent enclosure. Super small for sure. It's kind of funny looking at one of these after building like a 215's enclosure or a 212's or whatever even maybe. Um, these one single tent enclosures are definitely really small. It's kind of, kind of almost a trip looking at it, but this thing definitely turned out really awesome. Um, as far as pricing, Prices are changing so much. I don't even think I'm gonna start, I don't think I'm gonna continue listing prices in my videos only because the wood, from wood to glue to nails, everything is skyrocketing right now. So I don't even feel comfortable with it. Either way, you guys can go check out the website. Like I said, I got all the pricing on there. I update it frequently. You guys can order on the website directly, get pricing, all the good stuff. I got ported enclosures, under seat enclosures, anything you guys are gonna need, go check it out. And uh, make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and drop me a comment down below. Let me think, let me know what you think of this enclosure. I think it turned out awesome. Curved ports in there, you can't go wrong with that. This thing is gonna sound amazing. All right, and that's it for this video. Another one for the books. This thing's definitely an enclosure. I am, I'm happy with every enclosure I do, but this one is a, is definitely one that I am extra happy about i guess you could say but either way guys thank you again for watching my patreon supporters thank you so much we're still working out the perks um i've just be got i've just become so busy with actual work that uh the youtube stuff and patreon stuff and youtube member stuff i have to change it up where i can still work it in um a much tighter schedule but either way guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next video